And we are live. Let me go ahead and send out a tweet. Give everything a second to set up. Uh... Alright, tweet us out. So, hey everybody, your old buddy Bear Pigman here. How's it going? Well, this isn't technically retro hell. I do have the Kirby background up, um, but this is a uh, RPG Maker demo that my buddy PK Goody, uh, one of my friends from. Um, Cam Fan Gamer. I saw him post screenshots of it uh, a while back, and uh, pretty much it just looks to me like a beautiful Kirby uh, Earthbound hybrid. So I downloaded it. I actually haven't checked it out yet. Polohoko is taking the night off. He ain't feeling too hot. So we'll probably be back on Thursday with more PlayStation demo discs. So I figure, why, what the hell? Let's give this thing a look see. See how it comes. See how the demo is. I'm I'm excited. Like just alone, this is a lot of like my aesthetics that I love about gaming in it. So, Let's see, quite early, isn't it? Let's see. I already love the soundtrack to this game. Uh, let me know if the soundtrack is too loud, if I am too low, if, like, uh, I guess let me know if I need to adjust anything on the fly. Alright, I got no reason to be afraid just yet. October 91st, that's my birthday. Yep, that is, that is true. I am a Libra. I always make the joke that uh, my uh, zodiac sign is the scale, so even the fucking zodiacs are telling me to lose weight. Well, I do box. So I hope I'm fast on my feet. No, we couldn't be an asshole if we want. have to do another run of this where I pick just like the jerk ass responses. Oh. Oh, you're, you flatter me too much. You flatter me, you white sphere. Wake up, Chrono. Hmm, I may have to adjust that. Hold on. Alright, there we go. That should be a pretty good mix. Oh, we have plenty of time to play this little game of ours. We got all the time in the world. I know this is supposed to be little moons, but it kind of looks like we just got like a confused frog head in our mom's head. They like got eye, eye, just like a frowny face right there. Hey gamer, how's it going? Okay.
Let's take a look at the menu. Okay, the sprites in this are already charming as all hell. Uh, Lunita. Go ahead and make a quick save. Oh, that. The Earthbound Checkerboard background, too. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, that's cute. Our little apprentice. Consume all AP to damage one enemy. Alright. So it looks like MP is different than AP. Maybe we only have a certain like amount of moves that we can do in one turn. Thank you for the follow. Alright. Uh, actually, I may... Set these a little... There we go. Auto dash. Yeah. Well, I don't want to do. Okay, good. Save those. All right. Now I can up that a little more. There we go. Perfect. Uh. All right. Optimize. Pretty basic. Let's see what skills we got. Got Stardust. Ooh, star damage. No Astras, and... Oh, cool! We got, like, little D&D &D traits. Uh, Confident. So maybe I can make her into, like, a little tank. A little a little tank healer mage. A little bit of everything. Uh, restores MP while guarding. Holy shit, that's, that's really good. Uh, and resistance to wind. Oh, wow, so picking your birthday really does affect quite a few things and no real items at the moment all right cool uh it's this little doll he does look very brave let's see what's on tv oh yeah let's go ahead and equip that uh all right so that's under headgear Ooh, Sentai Show. Bam. Oh man, they just have a... <laughs> My Refrigerator Academia here. I was busy learning to learning about the game. All right, let's see. Um, Thought it was my day off. Whoa! <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> All right, so we got a rude orange and a in a magician set. Rude as fuck. See what kind of oh cool it's even a little chapter based uh, thing oh yeah now now we're getting proper is oh is that little light is the treasure box moving yeah it is any mail ah uh, nothing yep got everything I can. I said Kirby like it's uh I, the only thing I've seen so far is like a bunch of uh a bunch of the enemies that you fight kind of have that like Kirby waddle D face on it. 
Also, I haven't heard, I haven't heard from you in a while, Fafnir. How's it going? Oh, what do we got here? Alright, a little bunny blob. On my favorite sale, the Wow Nito sale. I see you. Wow, we even making even making sure to make sure we cross at the proper crosswalk. And our mom abandoned us. Let's see. Oh. Ah, uh, nope. Can't explore town on my own just yet. Glad to hear that. I'm smarter than you. My mom's better than your mom. Oh, that would be one hell of a spell. Okay, <laughs> a lot of water. All right, so it looks like not a whole lot of people use magic. Um, that makes me special. Uh, I can almost definitely say you can eat it. All right, one eye, what you got for me? Ooh, little bug man. like a little bit of red, a little bit of green, yellow something. Uh, I see a Mario Odyssey moon that I want to pick up. That could just, is he gonna keep running into us all the time? I really hope he does. have there orange 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 what porn are you hiding oh here we go invoke this just yet. Probably make it target me. Uh, let's try invoking it. See what happens. Oh! Invoking does damage. Not as much, but maybe it's a... Oh, it gave me one moon. Seamless transition. You started the fight with me. <laughs> come here, come all! Watch me get my ass kicked by a little girl! Get it, flate, like inflate. And now I'm free.
buy my book. Oh. Tarot cards, come on. All right. Yeah, try don't don't be cons conspic uh, conspicuous or anything like that. Yeah, I got it. My mom's the oracle. Can the moon swim in the ocean? Like the way you think. But now it's stuck with this mouth open forever, so I I doomed it to hell. I I can't not feed the ducks. Yeah, let's get some oats. Oh, someone's gonna make you gonna make oat money. Okay, so that is a dog. A or bunny dog. Uh, probably everything in here is going to be closed. Blech. A duck. I'm gonna give this duck a couple of oats. Come on over here, duck. The duck. Oh, duck and talk. Oh, I, it's dangerous. I could spend all my money on oats. I'm helping in my own way. Well, it's because now I can go back and see what, uh, See what was hidden in that chest near my house. Focus gem. Surround. Okay. Look at me, Ma. I'm jaywalking. Damn, a shame I can't ride the bike anywhere. Or break into this guy's house. My mom's not here. I can do whatever I want. Computer man. Oh, 
Oh, even the even the computer guy can give me a little bit of sass. You're gonna be the bad guy, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna be the bad guy. I'm a tiny person. Right, so get this dog. <laughs> Time to go rummaging through his stuff. You can't unlock the door from the from the back. That's a shitty door. What if a fire happens? Near to wells down a well. Hmm. Maybe it'll shoot out a bridge eventually? Ah, oh, Dusty. Alright, I'm liking this battle music a lot. Magic shard. Yeah, I'm about to say it probably restores MP. Marble. Oh, I throw it. Like a bullet. Let's try and invoke on him. Okay, so doing that gets me a moon. Though I don't quite know what a moon does yet. Let's try casting Stardust on Dusty. Alright, so it does a fair amount of damage. I'll say I should be near a level up at this point. What, what you got? What trade secret you got for me? Oh, okay, so it's got like the earthbound instant with insta kill. Okay, I thought that was going to be a boss. Get the 
drop on them. Okay, so the moon isn't invoked, it's how many turns it's been. I wonder how that affects things. There may be certain moves do more damage at certain times of night, or a certain amount of turns. Just wonder what's in that box. <laughs> Where could I possibly find some soap? But I need to get soap from the soap bin. Oh, there's another soap bin. Just in case. I get the feeling you guys are going to attack me in the middle of this. Yes, I did. All right, the laundry machine has oven mitts. If I go and attack it directly, it's probably gonna retaliate. So let's try invoking. Okay, you're weak to invoke. So I'm literally just giving him a little bit of the razzle dazzle. Seems like actually invoking uses one of the uh, moons. Oh, you're also weak to star. I kind of count on. That's why I figure I could have just gone a little more ham with uh, moves and health. Great wishity washity. Of magic and I know it. We got one of our, uh, one of the people I'm working with my job is currently up in China. So I had to go get, um, Outlook installed on my phone to be able to, uh, contact him because when I'm sleeping, he's at work or vice versa. So usually to, uh, usually if I work with him during my standard work hours, we just keep playing email tag. But yeah, so far this game is, you know, it's standard RPG fare. Uh, you love it or you hate it, but the aesthetics are nice. It's pretty cute. Um, <laughs> conjure up some clean water. I'm definitely liking the uh, 
cutesy, anthropomorphic, everything. Alright, so now here's where we're gonna start deviating from stuff. This is what I'm this is what I'm here for. I got moon cleaned. Alright, let's stock up on some of that soap. So, was this kind of like a little bit of like a Shin Megami Tensei, uh... As you walk around, certain attacks get more powerful as the moon grows bigger. Let's take a look. Okay, good, so I learned to heal. Uh, water damage makes them more susceptible to thunder. Oh, okay, so I can do kind of like combo stuff. If I know people who have thunder ability. I wonder what kind of party members I'm going to get in this game. Yeah, what you what you got for me? Boom, we need. What does that mean? What else we got? Oh cool, I got the Prima Strategy Guide. Oh, uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, permanent increase. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, I can speed up battles. Wow! Oh man, it's even got like the... Whenever you'd rent a game from Blockbuster, the instruction guy would sometimes have little things drawn in by the last kid who owned it. Or like cheat codes or something like that. They brought that in too. what that means so basically every turn you get you get the ability to cast something big <laughs> skill cooldown dumb Wow, that's actually kind of interesting. So basically your healer is going to become a magic tank, more or less. Uh, usually they like to do stuff like make your magic damage tie into how much you could heal. It's kind of the, the opposite. Magic defense is, uh... Speed... Alright, focus looks important. Uh, got some bad news. That coupon expired a while ago. Hey Andy, how's it going? It's going pretty good. This game is pretty cute. It is, I mean, it's still even with a couple of things uh, new in it. It's your kind of standard generic RPG made in RPG Maker, but it is cute. And I'm going to make this treasure chest barf up an item. Um, yeah, let me pull up the menu. It's kind of got like a little bit of a Kirby Earthbound vibe to it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, a lot of like, you're in a world with a little bit of um, uh, humans and monsters. Like the uh, guy we're helping out can do... Uh, the shopkeep is just a gigantic orange who runs into everyone every chance that he gets. And there's a whole thing with the moon. Which is interesting coming from Mario, uh, <laughs> Mario Odyssey. I need to get every single moon I can. See, look at that. Oh, 
okay. So, there's like this odd moon cycle in the game, which as you walk around, the moon gets uh, full and then closes and then opens again and becomes full again. And certain enemies react different ways to what cycle of the moon you are. For example, if you go when the moon is closed, this guy will not wake up. But if there's sunlight, he'll immediately wake up for his first turn. So let's, let's beat him. I mean, not like he's doing a whole lot, but... bad up actually about that we just woke him up just to beat him life force seed okay phoenix down uh the music is nice the sprite work is you know the overworld sprites are pretty rpg maker generic but the battle sprites are pretty cute all right so you got a better robe There's also the Earthbound-like ability to run away from battles if you're too powerful for them. But we got a hammer here who's going about his day and we're gonna ruin your day. Okay, so he can resist magic. And he's beating us to death with a hammer, cool. There is this though, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you can see how like, um, this move right here has, in addition to an MP cost, it also has a little moon on it. I can only use that if I have moons gathered up and I get a moon at the end of every turn. So you can't like just go crazy with your most powerful skills right off the bat, even if you have the MP for it. I'm gonna go ahead and... Also, if you guard, or at least for me, if I guard, I get MP back, which is cool. Well, let's see if he deals well with being waterfied. Not really, but he was near dead anyway. Ah, this is say anything? Oh, you're different. Obtain Sagittarius. Raises the ooh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, ah, he got the jump on me. And he hits pretty fucking hard. Wait, was he, like, reading himself? I mean, what's the point of those if I continually KO my... I can't revive myself from KO. Hmm. It's no use. Oh, our bucket friend's back. years. <laughs> See ya! Okay, good thing I didn't waste a healing item. Let's hold off on taking that for now and explore the rest of the room, because I see some skeletons around. Alright, I'll probably need the stone to be able to finally activate those platforms. Alright, what you got for me, stone? Oh cool, I got a soundstone. The dreaded dog. 
Oh, no, the dreaded dog found something even more dreaded. Oh, we found Papyrus. This game is pretty damn heavily mother-influenced. It's like, like I said, it's a combination of, like, Mother and Kirby. Like, if Mother decided to go really cutesy instead of emotionally devastating. Dog, are you gonna help us out? Do we got a companion? Are we gonna get a dog for our first member of our party? <laughs> See? Just... Yes, okay, dog in my party. Uh... I love that he just has a match duct tape to his tail. Uh, that means if I hit him... Maybe if I hit him with, like, a fire spell, it'll set it on fire. Uh... I'm banking on the fact that this dog might know, uh... Lightning. Alright. Or maybe if it strikes me enough, it'll, uh, make the, uh... The bag attack? Ooh! The dog can steal! Oh, right, I have that Astral Shift ability. Oh, that's what it does. It advances the moon by one phase. Uh, let's see what happens if I smack him up with a little bit of Stardust. Alright, what's your, uh... Oh, because the moon is full, it's now... Alright, let's put... But wait, if I soak him... I don't know, I, I don't know if that's gonna... Damn, part of me wants to, um, just use my ability to shift the moon, but I also wonder if I soak him if that'll put out the flame. Okay, he is no longer weak to soak. So I have to astral shift that. As well as heal her a little bit. Okay, the change in sprites are very good, and now you should be weak to that again. Time to get a bit of healing done. Ooh, he's gonna start doing that more often. Oh, I get it. Scorch PN. So even if he can even if he does more damage while that he also has insanely high defense. Ah, gonna make you what again, boy? There he goes. Neutralize, huh?
Dog is my friend and dog is in my party. This is the game of the year. Uh, Maru. I could go with a much worse name, but this game's all about being adorable and cutesy. I'm not gonna give it a rude crew with a bad attitude name. Oh, it uses plastic fangs too. Uh, oh, right, haven't done that in a while. Oh my god, the dog can do that. I have a Stretch Armstrong dog. Force Drink. Probably going to... Yeah! Gonna get that dog strong. Via a couple of uh, mixtapes. I hope they cast fire magic. And yeah, shit, it is Jake. don't even know if my Jake is uh, visible on camera but literally for almost the entire time I've been uh, playing you can kind of make it out in the background there on top of that big cat I've just had a Jake there pretty much the entire time uh, I might want to get a little bit of healing done oh yeah what's neutralized Okay, cool. A, D, a good debuff. Oh yeah, um, since you guys weren't here for it, when you start the game, you uh, choose your birthday, and your birthday gives you a couple of D&D &D traits, like healing effects, um, give you more HP, uh, depending on how you answer the couple of questions they ask you early on. Uh, you can restore MP while guarding, and if you're, in my case, a Libra, you get a resistance to wind. I wonder now what the dog has. Okay, it's waiting for a fight. So the dog is like a buffer, uh... And it's handy for a dog to do. Sounds like something opened. Maybe that giant box? Eh, that's not a whole lot. That's significantly less MP yep. recovered than I thought. Maybe the door over here opened? Ah, worth a shot. I mean, I can't get attacked in this room anyway, so why not? And I can get some recover. Okay, so that wasn't what that opened.
Okay, good. It didn't reset all those buttons. It's probably just the exit that opened up. Oh, I can get attacked on the stairs? Oh. Oh, it is fucking up, ready, and in charge. Uh, I need to waste three turns before I can use that. Alright, the bulb has to go down first. So a couple of early Shin Megami Ten- a couple of- I, when I say early, I don't mean like NES or SNES days, I mean like a couple of the PS- pre-Persona 3 uh, Shin Megami Tensei games used to have a similar kind of moon counter where uh, if the moon was full while you were walking around, certain enemies would be harder or you couldn't run away from them. So it's kind of using a little bit of that, which I think is a good reference. I just love the matter-of-factness of this, like, of this battle theme. Magic chart is... yeah, the empty restoring one. Ah, uh, here we go. We're finally back near the entrance again. Stretch game ain't that good yet. Oh yeah, you see how... Uh, here, I'll walk around until it does it again, but you notice how the... Uh, the exclamation mark over my head there was blue and not red? That means that if it happens and I mash Z fast enough, I can just basically do the instant run away. I don't get experience, but I don't have to fight it either. And actually, I'm remembering now the way out was up here. Oh, and there's our orange friend. And there's a balloon buddy. Oh, his name is also Flate because he's inflated. Ha! Oh yeah, the dog's my friend now, so fuck you. Friendship with the uh, giant rude orange that runs into me all the time, over. Friendship with dog began. I don't know, dude. I was gone maybe about 50 minutes. Oh, computer guy's back. You're gonna wanna fight me for it. So I got the God Orb versus Computer Mancer. Too bad. I love his expressions. Look at that. Uh, go away. Fuck you. Okay, hi, Flowey.
Okay, so it's probably like our mom's villain or something like that. I was in a sewer, mom. Get it right. I got a dog. It's a real, the real shit. Okay, I like this guy already. Hoping, in my in my mind, this guy has like a really high pitched, um, sim. Like, I'm I'm just envisioning this guy's voice and like Cobra Commander through like a voice filter. Almost doesn't sound like Dunn or Skeletor. Does it sound like Dunn to you? That is the Special Agent Ape, Sergeant Metatool. <laughs> okay, gotta say, not bad for a demo that's got me excited. No idea when the actual game is coming out, but uh, let me pop it in chat. I believe I have the... Uh, itch.io page for this game is right here. You can download this game and try it out. Yeah, this was just a demo. I saw one of my friends from uh, Camp Fan Gamer post a couple of screenshots of it before saying, hey, the demo's out. And I mean, it was Kirby. It was Kirby Earthbound. There was no way I couldn't try it out. Um, definitely, yeah, uh, definitely impressed me for a demo. At first I thought it was really kind of, you know, not saying anything that's wrong with it, but it felt a little generic. It felt a little, you know, standard RPG maker. And, you know, it's not going to be an Undertale, but what what games really are Undertale these days besides Undertale? Um, but this felt really fleshed out. Uh, the combat system got a little more complex than I thought with the whole moon shift. So it took a little while to get going, but once it got going, I kind of got excited. And I liked seeing stuff like the... Uh, the fact that you could make somebody wet and then hit them with thunder to do extra damage, that's a little bit of like the divinity uh, combo system going up here. So needless to say, I'm excited for when this game comes out. Um, I will keep an eye out for it. Uh, I recommend you guys do as well. And uh, with that, I knew this was going to be a short streaming night. Uh, Polo had to take the night off. We'll be back on Thursday with more demo discs, and we'll be back tomorrow uh, over at the NY um, Snark Exchange for some Jackbox. So, uh, thanks a lot for coming out and catching the uh, tail end of this. This is a good solid hour. I think that was a perfect, pretty good length for a demo. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.